across the Middle East, there's Cyclone Nilafar, which is continuing to swirl out in the Arabian Peninsula. Well, the big story across the Middle East, there's Cyclone Nilafar, which is continuing to swirl out in the Arabian Sea, not moving very far, and it is still quite an intense cyclone. It does have its eyes set on northwest India to make landfall there by the end of the week into the start of next week. Before we reach that point, though, Plenty of sunshine across the north and the northwest corner of India and Pakistan. Still seeing some smog problems, though, across New Delhi as the air is stagnant and those temperatures are pretty high. Head further south in towards central southern India for Sri Lanka. Well, quite a scattering of showers and thunderstorms here. As we've seen all week, certainly on Thursday, there could be some really intense downpours here with a risk of some flooding. Much of northeastern India and in towards Bangladesh holding on to the fine dry weather too. We'll see some rain and showers pushing in towards northern Iraq and northwestern Iran through Thursday and Friday. But for much of the Saudi Arabian Peninsula, it's fine and it's dry. Maybe a few showers and storms just affecting the coast of Oman over the next couple of days. But that risk reduces as the cyclone continues to near the northwest corner of India, potentially making landfall across the Gujarat Peninsula in towards next week. Lots of sunshine continuing across many northern parts of India. Plenty of thunderstorms, though, for Chennai, Majora and Colombo, with Calcutta seeing more sunshine.